I have about two and a half to three weeks before I go on a 1900 mile road trip with my Nissan Leaf. I really need to get this thing working. Now I've seen a couple people on Reddit that have the Canadian version and they're testing it here in the United States and it seems, at least in the post on Reddit, that they do have it working at some of the types of chargers I don't have this thing working at. Which makes me think, did I jump the gun too fast? Dongguan Tech? <sighs> Let's get some updates, man. We need some updates. I do have to get serious about my testing because like I said, I'm getting ready to go on this road trip and I need to get it working. Along with getting rid of some of these yellow biting horse flies. Now I did contact Leslie at Dongguan Technologies. I, I don't know the entire name of the company that creates that CCS to Chatamo adapter, uh, but I did let them know that uh, there is a company in Canada that's been testing out the North American chargers, the CCS ones, to maybe if they can collaborate and get some of the info that that company has collected to get their units to work here in the United States and probably most of North America, whether it's Mexico, Canada, or the United States. I don't know if they're gonna do that. Uh, it's just uh, when I first got my unit, Updates were coming, firmware updates were coming fast and furious. Now I don't hear from them at all. Uh, I fired off a message last week, still haven't got a response. Normally you get responses really fast. So I'm going to go out today, do some testing, have some fun, see if I can hit some different chargers that I don't normally hit out of the 17 that I, I group myself around and kind of go a different route and see if I can find a few and uh, give it a shot. I got my computer ready, got everything ready. I got some money for lunch and I think it's time to get out there and start seeing if this thing could work. I do have the newest firmware update installed that they sent me about two weeks ago. So far, nada, but I didn't have my computer with me to grab the data to send back to them. I just wanted to see if they would work first. Today, I'm bringing the laptop. Hope you're recording over there. Okay, let's try again just to make sure. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spend another 25 bucks, 50 in total. That's how it goes for these tests. I, all I remember is when I was doing, when I had my gas vehicle, sometimes they put a dollar hold. That's about it. Okay, 50 kilowatts, begin testing. Hold on a second, next. That thing is going. So let's fire up the pump, or let's fire up the adapter and plug it in. Okay. Uh, same information as before. Let's see what's going on. Everything's flashing. Chatamo, initiate, initiate TM5, and it. Initiate SPI OK, then some Asian words that I probably could use ChatGPT to decipher for me. But I'm 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 seriously not getting any information. At least sometimes it'll give you a long list of information. At the moment not getting anything and yeah now there's some it says charging has stopped unit off blah 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 so yeah um test one today's video nothing again so i don't know exactly what the canadian chargers has over this because i'm sure everybody's sharing the same info and everybody test has been testing like this but after I, I i'm assuming i've had this thing for two to three months now and i've only had it working one time for a thousand fifty bucks i trust me i'm starting to get disappointed 
and I and like I said I am leaving on a trip here very very soon and this thing would definitely come in handy oh well on to the next video peace everybody